my son is twice my age. How can I ever reconcile the lost infant that I poured my heart and soul into to now having him forever gone? It's not even that he's 60 years old now, it's... It's what I've been putting off since he was taken from Nora. That baby that I had all my hopes and dreams for. I've lost him forever. He's something I'll never get back. It's another death for me. Another murder. I lost two people that day that I was thought out in Vault 111 back in 2227. The only thing that kept me going for months was to get my baby back. Then it was, well, you went forward ten years in time from the thaw, and now he's ten. And I just, uh, I put all my feelings down in a hole and I covered it up just to get what was still in my mind, my baby back, somehow, in some way. Now that he's practically a senior, I cannot and will never get that baby back. I feel like Sean is gone for good. Who this 60-year-old Sean is, I don't know him, nor feel any kinship. We are related biologically only, and there is no love there. Sort of like an unknown cousin knocking on your door one day and expecting there to be some connection. There isn't. There is only the sadness inside of me of what I lost and can never get back. I want to feel a connection there. I look for it, but I don't... I, I just don't find it. And having him be the director of the Institute makes it all worse. I wasn't there for my son to raise and teach and show him the right way to treat others, to form a lifelong bond with. He doesn't remember me, and I only remember the baby I held in my arms, who I would kiss on the cheeks and forehead and hug and rock to sleep, to hear his baby gurgles and other sounds and be so happy and content with. Some say genetics also has a heavy hand when it comes to personality, and maybe we are alike in many ways. But if Sean is having people replaced and controlled, I don't know what for. He keeps talking about the best for humanity, this and that, but I know there are a lot of people in history that have said that, and when those people led nations, they got a lot of people killed. I cannot say if my son is any different from those people. All I know is that I really, now more than ever, despite my feelings for Curie, want to return to a point before the end of the old world. Maybe I can take Nora and Sean with me to some place that wasn't hit so hard, or not at all, and we could build a community that would stand through the end days. We'd have each other and we'd live out our lives in peace. What this life I have now is, well, it's not something I want at all. I wanted a son, my son, even if he's ten years old, to live with and with Curie and myself, and now I don't even have that. I have no children. My line ended with Sean, unless either he had children with other women, or I choose to have more with someone who can bear them. Though that isn't as important as losing my infant to me. It does, however, bother me a little that... What Nora and I made is gone. I'd thought part of her had lived on with our son, but... I just can't see that. I can't... I can't believe that anymore. For me, everything is just... done. Sort of like a wonderful home you built, now all burned down and you have nowhere to go. I don't know what to do about all of it. It's just a mess. My plans and hopes are all done gone, and all I am left with is some old man who is my son, leading a completely evil organization bent on taking over the world. What the hell am I supposed to do now? One of the you other tell me about this mysterious phase three. You know I can't talk about that. Phase three. You're here. Glad you made it. Thank you. Everyone's excited about the new synth project. Really? 
another one of the departments for me to go and investigate. Advanced systems. What is that? She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Mention it, quiet time runs from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I appreciate you telling me. Huh. One of those blue synth guns. Hey, hi, Doc. Well, that was productive. Hmm. Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics, and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. What schematics is she talking about? Huh. That's amazing. Oh, well, a lot of us do that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. <laughs> well, at least my son Sean is uh, well liked here. That's one thing I can say. Not everything you've heard about the Institute is true. Give us a chance. <laughs> hey there. I used to work exclusively on the synth projects, but lately I prefer less animated pursuits. Why? What happened? Hmm. Child synth prototype may truly be the key to our future. If why? that's what you think. Why is that? Hi. Oh, for goodness sake, I can't find my notes anywhere. I hope you and father try to make up the time you've lost. Family is important. That's right. All right, who is the department Safety head? first. Remember that. Whatever you say. Hey, Doc. Since you're new here, you should take time to learn our safety procedures. And the sooner the better. Rules create order, and order promotes efficiency. Hmm. You sound like my fifth grade math teacher. <laughs> I hated that woman. I doubt her rules were a matter of life and death. Failed to follow protocols in one of our labs, you could end up with a serious injury. Or worse, I had some handbooks made up, but that was years ago. I'll see about getting one to you. <laughs> sure, whatever. Take care, then. Like I'd read it. Terminal. The terminal's like really different. View access logs. Submitting research projects for approval. Uh, diagnostic tool for child synth project. Rejection of project proposals. Redacted. Huh. Research proposals. Human cybernetics. Build on existing institute research into implants, cybernetics to augment human capabilities and lifespan. Previous program met with limited success in a single subject. Using a broader array of subjects and new techniques could prove highly effective. Rejected by the director. None given for notes. Cold fusion. Divert time materials from current phase 3 research into exploring the possibility of sustainable nuclear reactions through electrochemical processes at or near room temperatures. Weird. Pre-war work on the subject yielded no concrete results. Advances in technology could potentially make it possible. Approval. Rejected. Lee. Dr. Lee? M? Notes. Evidence suggests that this is and always will be a pipe dream. <laughs> sounds pretty wild, but I mean, with everything I've seen, who knows? Miniaturization. Modification to relay assembly allowing for extra parameters when rematerializing. Specifically to explore recalibrating object size and density. Imagine if it were possible to use the relay to shrink someone down to the size of an insect, or even smaller. Rejected. Let's keep things out of the realm of science fiction, please. Huh. Sounds like one of my comic books. Plasma weaponry. Pre-war plasma weapons exist, albeit in a somewhat primitive state. Samples have been collected with work from a dedicated research team said weapons could be improved upon dramatically. Pending. Something to consider after phase three is complete. Okay. Personal notes. Dr. Lee has been spending more and more time in her lab with the kid, synth, thing. 
It's creepy, and I can't help but wonder if she's getting a little too attached. Evan has rejected my last 12 proposals. I don't know how to get through to that man at all. She's been spending time with my... The recreation of Sean when he was 10. Now, who are you? Hello? Excuse me, doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. So you're the department head, I take it. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. Really? You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute <laughs> at will. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, Handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Well, I am his father, though I don't really agree with him being in charge of the Institute. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Hmm, something's going on. Madison. If I could just get into that terminal, maybe I can find out. Huh, I wonder if she sleeps in here. She's that dedicated to her work. I thought I saw Dr. Lee, um... Hmm, probably won't care if I play this. I saw a, a room this with Dr. Lee. Eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's... Well, it, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations. Some of the most lifelike I've girls? seen. Of course, time. it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even once. now, would be a step Better too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two. Forgetting that he's not a real boy. Hmm. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are... are put off by his presence. If I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Okay, well, why do they f think that this is the future of all... was it Gen 3 research? Maybe that's what they want, is to start allowing them to have their own children. Why else would it be a 10-year-old boy? They've built, what, hundreds of Gen 3s, I'm guessing, at least. So why now is a 10-year-old Gen 3 the most important thing for the future of their research? Maybe they're expecting it to grow? I haven't... to grow up to be an adult? Since having babies, well then... <laughs> well, they really could repopulate the world. Bioscience. Institute Bioscience. Well, this should be interesting. I would have thought the whole place is about that. You had time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274. They're growing now food here. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations more. He's eager to get that going. So I've had to put Dr. Oh. Holdren's Synth Gorilla Project is showing promising results. Why are you guys making Synth Gorillas? Mankind redefined. It's catchy, isn't it? These things don't yeah, even... This isn't much. even their habitat. The Commonwealth. Before the bombs dropped. Why would you want synth gorillas up there? Hey, dog meat. I almost can't, just can't tell anymore until I uh, open them up. Hey. You're not a synth, are you, boy? How you doing, buddy? Maybe they're, you're a synth that they sent for me? To guide and protect me? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? <laughs> yeah. 
I did not teach you that. You just seem to know that from your previous owner must have taught you that. Ugh. Synth gorillas. I know they make uh, crows that are synths. Can't get through this. Could unlock it though. Alright. So you know that Brian Virgil wants me to get that thing to... What is it? It it cures super mutants. I've got to go find it in my, my journal here. Well, if I see... I think this may be... He said bioscience division, wasn't he part of that? Rosalind if I see what he's looking for... smart as she is beautiful, I just... Wish I could get her to notice me. I could have a chat with her. Rosalind? Hi. Dr. Watson doesn't think I'm institute material. I'm gonna prove him wrong. Anything's possible. Okay. Father's a great man. You must be very proud. Yeah. Yep. Did I turn off the interferometer? Is it important? Are you in charge of this? Dr. Carlin's uh, doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. I wouldn't know about that. Doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. <laughs> the gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. From what I've heard, you are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. What are the point of those synth gorillas? Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So hmm. now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. So much research, so Clayton. little time. Good to see you again. Did you need something? You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I, I'll promise you that. Weird, I don't think I've come across an infirmary. Well, what do you think, boy? Everything is so clean here. It's cleaner than <laughs> the world I came from. Sparkling clean. All these tools, I don't know what a lot of them do. Courser uniform. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna join here, I might as well wear a courser uniform. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. And they keep on growing food. I don't know what to do about my son. It's gonna be weighing on my mind. I think 
anybody saw me. I haven't seen cameras around here. That's it. Ooh. It was. Engaging. Was nice and clean. Dead sense? What is this place? Obviously, they're not using it anymore. Eliminated. We have a situation. Turrets going off in the background. Nice. Down. Sweet. Lots of ammunition. Can't argue with that. Fusion stone. Soon back. Asshole. Right. I don't think I've seen... I've created laser turrets, but I don't think I've seen them though. Whoa. Shit, that's a load of bull. Ah! Is this whole area? Is this like maybe a training area, or does it lead up to the surface? I don't know. Be a lot of thing. Grows two likeness. Uh, not one match. Okay, it's troop. The R and the O. I'm through. Remote door activation. The feeling that people don't usually come out this way. Yes. Careful, dog. I mean, there's a lot of turrets so activated. I don't even know what they're shooting at. They're not shooting at me. Puncturing pipe wrench mod. Interesting. Lumber glue. Now this is kind of more reminding me of the surface. Huh. Yes. The salt from. You can't stop me. Hell yeah. Can hold the ammunition. Nice. It's a lot of stuff. Duct tape. Is it trying to shoot that cat? Why? <laughs> Synth. Like, this was part of the instrument. Like, this is just. They no longer want to use it anymore. I'll just take this. Stencil Commonwealth Institute? Interesting. Not that I plan to use that. Oh. Well, this is just what I need right now. Dog me. Why are there cats here? Makes sense. Hey, shoot my dog. Ow. Come on. Not the best gun for long range. Or medium range. I think we're done for now. Oh, that was driving me nuts. 
Nice. I mean, these were holding cells they were using I, I, on people at one point. Yes. Ooh. We have a super mutant. Come to Papa. What the hell are the cats doing here? They've got to be synth cats. Hey. hey what you doing? Black ones, different kind of colored ones. Cats, 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 cats. I was actually thinking of getting a cat. After. Excellent. Our dog ran away. Terminal's gotta be somewhere. Okay, maze. I'm in. Oh, first one. No, I don't need turret control. Where is it? Oh, I wonder if they shut this down after Brian Virgil left. Because now we've got... I mean, obviously they're experimenting with uh, FEV here. This. Brian Virgil's personal log. Sounds really different. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing... It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone... Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Hmm. Let's see what the research notes have to say. This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 2224. We just received another batch of subjects. But as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something... someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course. That was when they decided to kidnap Sean. They said, did he say 24 or 26? I mean, Sean would have been taken in 22, 26. Or 22, 22, 27. Full 60 years before I... I was released. Deactivate the laser grid. That must have been where they went next. I didn't see anything about a serum that could... He said to go into the bioscience area and find the serum. Maybe it would be on a terminal information about it. That way, I didn't go this way. Ooh. Maybe I can find his old lab. Now, this kind of looks like how it was on the surface. Technical document. Psycho Bingo. It lo just looks like a dusty version of what's on the surface. Okay, then. 
Well, that was where they were doing their experiments, obviously, but that's not where the serum is that I'm looking for. He's helped me out. He's sitting in the cave. He turned against the Institute. I think it's important for me to try to help him out. Department notices. Our special guest has arrived. Is that me? Now that our guest of honor is here, I want to remind everyone to be polite, accommodating, and welcoming. It's not often we receive visitors from the surface, and this occasion is more special than most. I know I can count on all of you to extend a hand of friendship and greet our visitor with the utmost hospitality. Let's embrace this exciting event and make the best first impression we possibly can, Director Holder. Power conservation. When we first implemented the new power efficiency guidelines, I was proud at how well we were able to meet those standards with only a minimal impact on our productivity. It was a daunting challenge and we rose to meet it. Hmm. The new power efficiency guidelines. So they had to uh, not use as much. Lately, however, we've been getting lax in our habits. Too often I'm finding lights and equipment left on when they shouldn't be, and the environmental settings have been changed without my authorization. Let's rededicate ourselves to doing what's right for the needs of the Institute as a whole. After all, this isn't just our home. It's a home for the future generations who will carry on the great work of building a better future. Director Holder. Synth Zoology, the next step. I have some exciting news to share with all of you. Father has approved the next phase of my proposed Synth Zoology initiative, and I'm already in the process of setting up a schedule for the initial prototyping phase. As has always been the case, this is a low-priority project, but those of you who find yourselves with free time are welcome to contribute. I'll need to make a few preliminary decisions, not the least of which is what kind of creature we'll want to replicate. I don't have to tell you how eager I am to begin, and I can't wait to see what amazing things we can do given our recent advances in synth development. Director Holdren. Why would they have gone with... Um, did I get through all that? So I didn't view these. Why would they have gone with gorillas? And how did they get gorilla genetics to do this? This is just about their growing of their food. Do you access logs? Uh, local login, Carl and I. Category up to soil, pH values, pH values, access department notices, department notices, department notices. This is kind of dull and boring. We've thoroughly checked out this area. Maybe I should go back to that lab and look for the sample that he had created. I'm not sure why they would have blocked this off though and had the guns going. Maybe they're afraid of these things coming to life. Yeah, we need to find that. Could this be it? Experimental serum. Seems like it to me. Okay, well, I'll have to go back down to uh, that place I really, really don't like. Full of radiation. The glowing sea, far to the south. Okay, well, we have what we want. Uh, maybe it's time to go see my son, Sean, that everybody here calls father. I didn't see an infirmary anywhere. Now, these are people's... Like... Their decks, so... Personal... Personal decks to their... Uh, apartment? Here we're about to get a new food supplement. Really? <laughs> I don't know. The food seemed a little bland to me. Oh. If you require maintenance, please file a report with the facilities division. Are you I, kidding me? I require maintenance. I'm not a synth. I can get diseases. I'm hungry. Oh, I guess I don't need... came the wrong way. Pretty sure I can get women pregnant. Except for synth women. Alright, let's find my way up to father. Things possible. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? <laughs> hmm. It's all actually amazing. I just don't like what you guys are devoting it, your efforts to. 
You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional Redefined, setbacks. huh? As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. I've seen that firsthand. So what do you mean, proper supervisation? What do you mean by proper supervision? I mean that while they are here in the Institute, fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed, our synths perform admirably. As you're about to see, however, they can become unpredictable when set loose. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. A rogue synth. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Where is Libertalia? Hmm. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. That's now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. I'm very surprised that you guys actually care Son, about what you happens. you should get going. To the people up on the surface? There's no time to waste. Suits me fine. The point of having a brick. There we go. Some music. Okay, well, what's the quickest way out of here? He said I could leave and go whenever I want, so how do I do that? Using my Pip Boy? Okay, well, I'm surprised that Father, my son, Sean, cares about people on the surface, as I've said. But I'm also surprised that the railroad erases memories and this person went on to take over being a raider. I cannot stand raiders. Okay. Well, meet up with the course of where. Oh wait, yes, yeah, I remember Libertalia. That's that's a huge place where all the boats are put together. Okay. How? How? To use my pit boy to use the relay to take me out there. I could use some sleep, but I guess I could work with the courser to take out Libertalia. Alright, take me to this area then, Pip Boy. Whoa! Is that all? Nice. What do we got here? Mr. Handy? Nick? Nick, what are you doing here? These are rust devils. I... Sweet. Well, I got him. This is a fine mess. The biggest, toughest salt round over there. You and me? We're going another damn round. Why did I appear in the middle of the battle? Oh. 
Is that the Corsair? He's using a simple weapon. What did I miss? Hey, Corsair! Yes. Asshole. Is that it? God, that's over. People around here. Like more? This is all just another day for me. Hey, would you stand still? Hey, what's wrong with you? Brother is also poking around out here. Slinked away, huh? Smart. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, sir. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. So long as he doesn't start eyeing me up for reclamation, it would probably be good to have another gun on our side. Neither of you guys are safe with the Brother of Steel coming in. What do we know about this synth, Gabriel? Designation B-592 is holed up in the shack on top of the upended cargo ship. He's probably got his best fighters with him, so we should plan on heavy resistance. So, are you ready to go in? Hmm. <laughs> gonna be a lot of fighting. I did not pick up my power armor when I, before I left, but they said I can always come back. Okay. All right, let's go. Right behind you, sir. Okay. I can barely see a thing. Well, neither will they be able to see us coming. Pipoy says it's this way. That goes right into the water. How do I... Oh, hell. Visibility is awful. My orders are to help you capture the sand. I'm ready right now. Not hey. We're going in. Come on. Can't go that way. Well, this looks like it leads right to it. My pleasure. I guess we're not. How about some? Rip them to shreds! Whoa. Seems like we have brothers who to steal help. Hell yeah. Take this, but whatever. Let's just take this. Ooh. Get him. This place is pretty big. Go through here. Follow me. Shouldn't take long. see anything. There's somebody. That's a pretty crappy pipe pistol you have there. These people don't have very much. Is that oh, the best oh, you oh. can do? Well, who's shooting flames at me? 
Want some more? That was nuts. Sick him! Excellent. Open. <laughs> My pit boy's pointing to over there. I can't see how these boats all join together because it's too damn dark. Oh, it keeps going this way. Let's go to the end. They're already shooting at the Brotherhood of Steel. So, got good distraction going on. Garbage. Asshole. I see you. Going this way. Is that a terminal here? What the heck could possibly be on this terminal? That's it. Got it right. Spotlight control. Turret control. Just like once, I'd like to turn these turrets against them. It's safe here. Was that the Brotherhood of Seal early? Birdie Bird? Birdie Bird? Oh, right here. Very cramped in this spot. Nice. Which reminds me. All right. So, I've really been thinking about my my settlements and building more workstations and shops there. I'm... yeah. You could say that. Alright, we have to keep making our way. Oh, it's a heck of a lot quieter now with that ready bird down. with my light on. I think we need to go... Whoa, 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 I'm swimming in the water. I need to go this way. Or am I going the right way? I feel like I'm going back the way I was. No, this is a different way. This is going right to Libertalia, or the main area. Look at this, huh? You guys send that down as an invitation? Let's go. See, they want me to come. Hey! Coming at me with a pool cue. There's not a raider alive who troubles me. Yeah, that's pretty much true. Oh. Ah, yeah. Good riddance to that scum. Got me. Ow.
I can't stand raiders. Just get warmed up over here. Still? And you don't want me to blow this synth away, you want me to keep it alive. There's the stairs. Ah, I can't tell who it is. Go another round. They're all just raiders to me. I'm liable to do that to the synth. Bye. Sweet. All right, Mr. Synth, where are you? I don't know if it was reprogrammed to be Raider. I think that that's not correct. I think it was reprogrammed to have its own free rail will by the railroad, and just ended up being a, a Raider. That's it. And then somehow rose to be the leader of the Raiders, this Raider group. Hell yeah. That doesn't make any sense. There's no way the railroad would shit on the shot, of <laughs> course, sir. Um, there's no way they would mine now program the the sense to be a raider. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's a door here. Okay. Booze and chems yeah. everywhere. Seems like a raider place. Okay. Let's see if we can't find that captain, leader of the raiders. Hold up a moment, sir. There's something important I need to tell you. Right now? All right, but make it quick. I will. I'm going to give you B-592's reset code. Ah. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say, B-592, initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code, Gamma-71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. I'm wondering why you don't just say it. Jesus, what a mouthful. Then talk fast, sir. <laughs> Just make sure you get it right. That's all, sir. Ready when you are. Why don't you just say it? You say that its name is Gabriel? Command prompt log. Uh, how to fix piece of shit terminal. <laughs> Deleting old files. Archive for user Wire James. I take it this is the previous leader? So that... Maybe he was replaced five years ago. May 2288. So here we are, our new home. Only casualty was one of the Andersons' less useful toes. Otherwise, I'd say cleaning the Meyer looks out of these old hulks went pretty well. Now we just have to figure out what to do next. Been a long time since any of us knew life outside the Minutemen. Oh, they're ex-Minutemen. Man, how could they stoop so low to become raiders? But General Becker was the only thing holding those folks together. Now that he's dead, it's just a matter of time until the militias start turning on each other. Now we're sticking around for that. But we can make something of this place, I know it. We're going to have to. Maybe they weren't raiders at first. November 2288, we're planning, we're running through food a lot faster than we planned. People are starting to get hungry. We're rationing, but the scouts need to turn up something soon or we're in trouble. Why aren't you guys fishing? It would really help. December 2288, I had Anderson and Williams hang today. Not pleased about executing the best guns we still had, but it needed to be done. End of last month, they started finding big caches of food catches. I like saying caches, but I hear a lot of people say cache of food and supplies. We were starving, so I didn't ask where it came from. Then today we get a visit from the Bunker Hill guards. Turns out my boys had been hitting caravans, feeding us the spoils, so they weren't raiders at first. Two of them were. I give the guards my word those boys would see justice, and I keep my word. But justice doesn't put food in my people's mouths. Start growing food, start fishing. February 2283. No effing more. Another caravan stiffed my boys. This mercenary shit we've been driven to isn't worth it when the bastards don't pay. I tried to get the merchants at Bunker Hill to cut us some slack to give us something, anything to eat, but they wouldn't deal. They're in on it too, I guarantee. 
No, this ends now. Today, me and the boys make an example. This is when they became raiders. So it only took them less than a year. Nine months to become raiders. Well, that's what happens when you just go scavenging for food. April 2283. Four new recruits today said they heard about all the caps the raiders in the bay have been pulling in. Raiders. That's what they called us, and they're not wrong. We're making money hand over fist. Bunker Hill, the caravans, they pay us to do nothing, to leave them alone. This is the best shape we've been in since leaving the Minutemen. General Becker would be sick if he saw us now, but he's dead and we're alive. I don't feel like writing anymore. Yeah, well, we should have done something more. I do not agree with becoming raiders. Maybe that's my uh, pre-war views on things. I haven't lived through desperate times. Well, I kind of did, but I made Pardon something me. of myself. Following your lead. I didn't if you start want. preying on other people. I refuse to do that. I'd rather take a gun to my head and blow my brains out than start raiding people. Well, where the hell is this guy? I thought he'd be in here. Tool case. Is there an upper deck that we need Sweet. to get to? You Top deck. that a little too well. I guess you could say that. Maybe he's up above. Yeah, I'm not going to harm Inhale. people just so I can survive. Something wrong? Figured not my problem. Like gear, I'm gonna guess you two are agents Just of the like me. So, made it to the top. Is the Institute so desperate for resources that it's stealing plunder from honest, hard-working Commonwealth gangs? <laughs> Commonwealth gangs. B-592, initialized factory reset, authorization Gamma-71 Epsilon. What? You okay? Gabriel, can you hear me? Shit, they did something to him! Take them out! Whatever. You and me? We're going. Sir, I'll take the synth back. This is X688. Ready to relay with reclaim synth B592. Damn it! Well, it's fast. Wow. Come to Papa. Well, I guess you know, it's time to loot the raiders, what they've taken. We've cleared out of, like, pretty much the entire area. I don't know how many. They were, I don't know, they're, who was all that fighting when we first dropped down? I think it was probably a group from Libertalia, like raiders, and... Whatever. Who was that, uh... Those rust devils were also raiders. You know, I'm fluent in an uncooperative old machine. I got this. That terminal a look? I've been around longer than you have, Nick. Uh, yeah, that's complicated. But I've been around where I know computers. Especially how to hack them. Likeness 1. Uh, I see two likenesses, so this cannot be it. All I need is one. The D. Nope. Um, another E D at the end, so that cannot be it. Uh, binoculars. Well, maybe there's a likeness. No. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. I don't see any. Could be the L. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, it's a U. It's counting the letters. Companions? So could it be the C? Maybe. I'm yeah, in. that's right. Safe control. Well, I could hack the computer or I could just use block picks. Okay. Bobby pins. Bottle cap, shotgun shell, 38 jet. You found something else? Actually, I was hoping there's a, a terminal that could. Gabriel would be able to tell Anything me more. Anything you want to talk about? I wonder how long it was adrift before it ended up here. 
Your guess is as good There's as mine. There's a whole bunch of boats here that they've linked together. Yeah, I don't need this, uh... I wish I could just get Zap back to the Institute, though. From there, Zap anywhere I want. Yeah, you guys should have been trying to survive on your own instead of taking from others. I'd rather work with the railroad, though. Not this, uh, institute crap. But, the only reason I'm giving it any bit of my time, and maybe even working with them, is because my son Sean's in charge of it. So, I mean, I'm not going to go against any of the other groups, especially the Minutemen. But, I'm going to see what's going on. See if I can't talk to him about what their overall goals and aims are. And try to speak some reason into him. Let's get out of this place. Prettier from up here. Sounds like you're disappointed. <laughs> Radix will take. Uh, need to get down below. How do we get down? I can't really see too well. I went up like about four levels. Down here. Here it is. I, mean, I don't see any signs of fishing. They got a they got a fish. I don't know how it's affected the water. You don't really see too many people who are fishing these days. Too much radiation in the ocean. I'm tired. We gotta find a way to. place to go sleep. Didn't expect to be out here. Again, well, let's see. Um, aid. I didn't pack. I don't think I. Gotta be something. I am hungry though. And I missed breakfast. Let's have this. Look at cherries. I'm so tired though. Uh, I think Dogney yeah. might have have it on him. Dogney. Hey. Let's trade. <laughs> I hear it all this. Camping kit. Okay, so let's go find a spot. Gotta get out of here. I'm facing the wrong way. We gotta go this way somehow. Oh, I can't see a damn thing. Has to be snowing right now. I know it's March. Snow still comes, but this is windy and snowy and and at the middle of the night. I just can't really see much of anything. So we'll find our way out of here. The only one that needs to sleep. Well, <laughs> dog meat did sleep. He has his own bed here. Pick this up. Brotherhood of Steel is still poking around. It came just as I was putting my beds down. What is that? What is that? Oh. Looked like somebody's standing there with a gun, but I guess not. I appreciate you guys keeping the peace in the area, but... Yeah. It's just annoying when you're in the middle of it. Please don't shoot, uh... My friend. Hello. Hi. Glad to see you return safely from the Institute, brother. You knew I was in the Institute. Oh, that's weird. <clears throat> Damn feral 
signals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. I don't think it has a sense of humor at all. I don't like ferrets. I certainly don't want to be one of them. Well, Nick, it's kind of good you're with me. Maybe we should focus on... Where is that? Two more Eddie Winter Kate tapes. Where is the closest one? Oops. Oh, Quincy. That's where I hear there's a huge amount of, uh, what do you call those guys? The gunners. Yeah. I also have to go see Brian Virgil. So there's two Eddie Winter... What is this Coast Guard Pier? Two Eddie Winter tapes. This is the last two. I don't have my... And we have to go see Brian Virgil. Oh, good. I don't have my power armor. And I don't have a bunch of people with me to go down to Quincy. This is something we're going to have to change. But maybe I should go back and see my son first. I can just zip right back in there. Speak to him. And then maybe from there I can get my power armor and then get z transport myself back to uh, my home. And from there... In Sanctuary, we'll take a few people and we'll just go down and get the last Eddie Winter tapes and go see Brian Virgil. I think that's what we need to do.